Coming up later, the story of lovers resisting Nazi persecution. Mick Jagger co-stars in Ben. What kind of world do you live in? And coming up next, inventor Robin Williams tries to get a handle on his latest creation, Flubber. Oh, boy. Uh, let's see. You're moldable. <laughs> a little ticklish. <laughs> Absent-minded professor Robin Williams and his sidekick Weebo are delighted there by his latest invention, green goo that's flying rubber, or flubber. And maybe flubber will save Williams' bankrupt university, not to mention his engagement in this retread of the early 60s comedies that starred Fred McMurray. What I kept thinking was, forget the flubber, though, and patent Weebo, which is a levitating personal digital assistant with a seductive voice by Jody Benson. It's, it's gone. Professor, oh. Oh. I think you gave it a little too much free will. Marcia Gay Harden plays his long-suffering fiancé, who is fed up even when he claims Flubber will save the university. This is the reason I didn't make it last night. It's Flubber. Flubber! It's a metastable compound, Sarah. In layman's terms, if you apply a small amount of energy, <laughs> it liberates an enormous quantity of energy. Flubber has a lot of applications, including the ability to turn every basketball player into Air Jordan. That's pretty good. Sorry, but Flubber just never took off for me. Instead of finding really funny applications for the amazing substance, the movie just thinks up goofy ways for it to bounce around the room and make people bounce around the room. And then there's an unfunny subplot involving a couple of hired goons who creep around like clones from Home Alone. No surprise there, since this movie was written by John Hughes of Home Alone. What's intriguing in the movie is the way little Weebo is in love with the professor and considers the real woman to be her rival, but that's never really explored. It probably ought to be explored in another movie in yeah. terms of... Son of uh, Weebo. Or well, something. no, no, I mean a, a personal computer getting involved with the owner of her, something like that. That'd There's be a, fun. There could yeah, be a story sure. there. We give these away for free, don't we? It's yes, really nice. Yeah. But this movie bored me to death. I know. I mean, first of all, the, to make the basketball game so boring as the payoff, I mean, I have seen not that long ago the, the original well, the, dog, the dog playing basketball was better. Remember the yeah. oh, movie yes. where the dog well, I'm just saying, basketball? I'm talking about the, actual, I'm talking about the actual Flubber movie. Yeah. And they did the same stuff, basically. It's, yeah. Robin Williams seems tired in, in this picture. He doesn't seem to be getting any joy out of it. The film seemed to be also shot dark. And I don't think it was the way it was projected when we saw it. I just, it, it just felt down and depressing and then has things bouncing. It's not enough for me to recommend. To okay, coming up next, from the ridiculous to the real, Frederick Wiseman's new film, Public Housing, in the very real streets of Chicago.